Hi, this is Jeff August. I'm here with another Look Labs tutorial. Uh, we're talking about speed looks and camera patches today um, in speed grade. And uh, on the timeline, I've actually got three different uh, clips here. I've got my first clip is a red R3D file. Okay. My second clip is actually the same music video, the complete music video. And now this is rendered in uh, log format with uh, our settings that I'll talk about in a second. And then the third clip is the same music video, but just exported um, with the camera settings in Rec. 709 color space. So red color three. Basically, it's what you see on set. And uh, so now we've kind of got three flavors of the same thing. So let's let's start by uh, applying speed looks and applying our camera patches. So the first, uh, we'll, we'll first work on this R3D shot. One of the things that we need to do is we need to change the default settings in R3D. Um, to the settings that work for speed looks. So we can do that in two places. We can do that in the timeline tab and then under uh, f um, format defaults we can choose red right here R3D and then we can choose this drop down that says use these settings below. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to keep everything the same. The only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change my gamma curve uh, well to red gamma 3 Actually, sorry, I'm going to change my gamma curve to red log film, I apologize, and my color space to red color 3. So we've now got our red footage more in a log type environment. It's not quite what we want, but we're going to add a camera patch to, to get it closer. Um, so by doing these settings here, I'm affecting all the R3D shots that will be on your timeline. If you actually just want to do it to the one shot and affect the one shot, let's just do that really quickly. I'm going to switch this back to where it was. And now I'm going to go to the clip selector here. And, uh, and then from clip, I'm going to choose format options. And again, you see I get the same window. And so what I can do is uh, override the timeline defaults and use these settings below. And what I'll do is I'll choose red log film and red color 3. Okay. So that's how we shape up our red. You can do it uh, throughout the whole timeline or you can do it on a clip or clip basis. So the next thing that we want to do is start adding our speed look. Uh, so what I'll do for argument's sake is I'm just going to go to the timeline tab and I'm just going to uh, to set up here. I'm going to select my video track and I'm just going to pull a grading layer or two. Notice it's pulled a grading layer right above the um, the timeline. I'll, I'll create one of those and then I'm going to create by dragging uh, this, this icon here up to the timeline, I'm going to create one big grading layer. And I'm going to drag that across the entire timeline. And we'll put our speed look on that and we'll be able to show you how we can match three different uh, or th we can make identical the three different sources here that we've got. So, or three different variations of the source. All right, so let's start color grading and start using speed looks. So I'm going to go down to my, click on the look tab here, and now you can see I've got my speed looks presets. I've also got my camera pro profile presets. We, we changed up the red settings, but we need to just adjust them a bit more, and so that's where the camera patch comes in. So I'm just going to select my clip, and I apply my, my patch right to the clip, so, because we'll, once it's applied, we won't touch it. So again, I'll just select the clip, and I'll hit red camera. And notice it's lifted the signal up even further. Perfect. And I'll hit enter and now it's accepted that. And now the way we work with speed looks and speed grade again is we apply them to our entire scene or entire commercial or whatever we want to apply to. So this is our look layer I'm going to call it. And so now I'll go to my look presets and I'll uh, scroll down and find uh, beautiful 3528 gold orange and let's just apply it and instantly we have a pretty nice looking picture. So let's just hit play on that. Really nice. You know what, the, uh, the blacks might be a little darker stuff, but we can go in and start adjusting that um, shot per shot uh, in the middle. And that's the whole idea. We want to keep our footage on the bottom, our look on the top, and then you want to do your grading adjustments non-destructively of course in the middle you can add mask you can add whatever you want you can stack up these layers as many as you want so that's looking pretty good I'm liking that let's now step to uh, the next clip on our timeline which is not a red source it's actually a DPX series when we encoded this DPX series 
uh, we encoded it with those Redis settings that I had uh, talked to you about. So again, red, red colors 3 and red log film is the gamma curve. So notice now I can just turn on my look layer and it just works. It, it just works. That's, that's the beauty of speed looks is our LUTs are so refined and so dialed in that they just work. So now here's the shot that we were looking at from the red um, just a second ago. So there it is on the DPX. Let's just skip back to the red and we'll see how the look is. There we go. Come on. There we go. It is the same. So now we've got I've applied a speed look and again one look going across this entire timeline. So now I'll apply it. We've got it on our DPX sequence and you know as I look at that you know maybe the blacks are a little crushed um, and again I could go shot to shot and you lift some stuff up again this is all non-destructive what we're doing we're just running the video through the LUT and you know now we've got a, a beautiful music video that's got a really unique look that you can see is maintained from shot to shot um, and that's very hard to do when creating looks and so you know in real time we are giving this a look uh, and again, I could go and switch the look at any time. Uh, let's go choose a film stock like Fuji Clean. And so now we're now looking at the, the DPX sequence um, with a Fuji film emulation. It's that fast and, and that pretty. And you know, our emulations just do what film does. They make colors prettier, they make blacks richer, and our, our looks always keep the whites white, which is really important to us. So, all right. Let's go to our third clip on the timeline. Again, I'm going to turn off this look layer so we can actually just see what the clip looks like. Now, this clip is Rec. 709 color space. Now, Rec. 709 color space, uh, we've created a camera patch for it. So let's um, go to our camera profiles and let's select our clip. And we're going to look for a Rec. 709 preset. So I'm just going to click on that. And now what we've basically done is take a, a linear picture and transcode it to, uh, or not transcode it, transformed it to log C or what we call speed log. But because every camera manufacturer is different and, and, uh, and they all have different unique looks in their cameras, we can't really undo everything the camera did. So there might be a few little adjustments that we're going to want to make to this overall scene to get it matching with the other speed looks. So, I've now applied the patch to the Rec. 709 footage. So this is what it looked like before. That's with the Rec. 709 patch on. Now I will turn my speed look on, and you can see that you know what? It's uh, it, our image has gone. Oh, there we go. You can see our image has gone a little dark, and we've lost that blue that we had in the other two scenes. So this is where we're going to just compensate for what the camera manufacturer did or whatever. I'm just going to lift up the blacks on this just a bit. And in the, in, the, in the highlights, I'm just going to introduce a bit of blue. Nice. Maybe just brighten it up a bit. And I'll just hit play. And uh, maybe we just need to lift the blacks up just a little more, but you're starting to see what, what's happening here. We're getting the identical look, and now this is applied to Rec. 709 footage. So a lot of people who ask us about speed looks say, can I apply it to this camera? Can I apply it to that camera? You can apply speed looks to any camera. Um, and the beauty of it is you can mix cameras on the timeline and achieve the same look. So in theory, we could throw a Canon 5D on this timeline and apply the Canon 5D flat patch. Or we could throw an Alexa camera on this timeline and we don't actually have to patch the Alexa because the Alexa's log output is log C. So. So let's just kind of review what we've done in this tutorial. We've, uh, we've started with three sources, uh, a red clip. Um, we prepared the red clip um, by changing the red settings and then also by adding our camera patch technology and then adding the speed look on top. We then had a DPX series uh, sequence um, and because it was transcoded with or exported with the right settings, all we need to do is apply the speed look and everything applies perfectly, everything falls into the right place. And then the third um, instance is we had a Rec. 709 output um, with red 
uh, color settings and uh, well the camera default settings and yet we're still able to apply a speed look and maintain the same look and feel that we were able to do with the raw camera source and the DPX pass. So this really just proves that you can mix and match formats and, uh, and cameras and with speed looks and again running a speed look right across the top you can get a uniformed output and a gorgeous look. That's it for this tutorial. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to email us at looklabs.net. And uh, until then, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.